the 50% target was definitely a, a daunting goal. We want to develop the most fuel-efficient truck running on the streets in North America. The question was, how aggressive would we need to be? Each individual manufacturer received a Department of Energy Super Truck Grant. We immediately embraced it because it fit exactly our long-term strategic plans. We want continuously to improve fuel efficiency. They not only want us to look at technologies that could be implemented in, say, the next five to seven years, but also technologies that were 10 years or plus out. We had to do a clean sheet approach. We looked at the very beginning over the external aerodynamics of the vehicle. You try to take your ideas and shape it into something and then test it and you say, okay, is that aerodynamic? And once you get there, it's, it's a question of how do you turn that into a real truck? So the first phase was identifying and measuring our baseline and then figuring out what we needed to do to get to 50%. The cooling team had to work with the aerodynamic team to say, okay, yes, we both need to meet our goals, but how do we do it together? Within the super truck program, we are able to leverage the knowledge and expertise of the Global Dimer organization. Experts within North America, both in Portland, as well as in Detroit. We have our global hybrid center in Japan. Our powertrain experts, they came from Detroit and from Germany. You can really leverage expertise across the globe, across different national labs, and that really accelerates the development of the technologies. The so super truck features the in integrated Detroit powertrain. You can downspeed the engine to reduce the frictional losses and achieve fuel consumption reduction. In order to overcome the trade-off between aerodynamics and cooling, we came up with an innovative grill design. So open the grill only in times when cooling required and close the grill under high vehicle speeds in order to improve aerodynamics. Waste heat recovery was not something that heavy duty trucking had at all. So what we try and do with heat recovery devices or systems is to recover some of that energy, especially from exhaust, which just escapes out of the tailpipe, and utilize that to drive the truck itself, thereby reducing fuel consumption. The contribution to trailer aerodynamics was certainly a, a very surprising thing to us. We looked at uh, the nose cone, trailer side skirt, and the boat tail. Over two thirds of the benefit actually come from the trailer. How that affected the tractor, things like eco roll and hybrid, uh, we had more energy to recuperate simply because the tractor and trailer were more aerodynamic as a system. At the end, we achieved 115% freight efficiency improvement. On public route in Texas between San Antonio and Dallas, we also saw better than 12 uh, miles per gallon fuel consumption, which is amazing. Never heard about in, in the industry. A 1% in freight efficiency over the 10,000 vehicles running at 120,000 miles per year, I mean, you're saving millions of gallons of fuel. We have to invest in the future, not just of our company or the economy of the United States, but in the future of the entire planet. We were able to work on very high-risk, high-reward technologies and provide functional demonstration on a line haul vehicle. The super truck program provided us the opportunity to see what's really possible, not today, not next year, but many years into the future.